So let's look at how we can be able to edit our wedding images and give it a very beautiful color grading and a cinematic look with just few clicks. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to crop this image. So I'm going to try to expand it a little because I don't want to lose out my sky. So I'll just try to get things straightened up here. Then make sure your content aware is turned on. Then once that is done, the next thing I want to do is I want to separate my object from this background because I need to brighten up the object a little and darken the background a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection of my object. So I'll just go to my select and find my subject. So once the selection is made, I'm going to minus her flower bouquet. So I'll just inverse the selection, minus this, make a duplicate, separate it. Now we'll have our background on a different layer and our object on a different layer. So I'm going to come to my curves and darken it down a little. Then I'll go to my color lookup table. So we'll just import one of our beautiful color lookup tables that we are going to be using. So if you're interested in getting the color lookup, just comment interested and attach LUT3, that's color lookup and you will get access to it. Okay, H play, press enter, beautiful. So I'm just going to look at the before. This is the after. So it's, it's time to brighten up our objects. We'll just make our object a little brighter like this. And make sure that this is clipping to the object. Or rather, we can just leave it open like this. So the next thing I want to do is I, want, I just want to give it a very beautiful sky. So I'm going to come down to my object, to my background, go to my edit, go to sky replacement. And just give it very golden hour sky. So we just find one. Yeah, we're going to use this. So we'll check it out. So we can as well make it even warmer. It's something very strong. Okay. Beautiful. So we can as well increase the brightness. Whatever you want to do, just do it and make sure you get a very beautiful sky at the end of the day. So press OK. Now you can decide to reduce your color lookup just to give that sky even more warm look. And we are done. So press Ctrl, Shift, Alternate, E, go to our filter, go to camera raw and apply our last preset. So right there in your camera raw, you just go to this three dots and as well, we're going to be using a preset that you can have access to. So if you're interested, comments interested and you will get access to the process. So I'm going to apply previous setting because I already had it set up. And we'll have over 300 presets that we can as well give out to you. All you need to do is just comment interested in the comment section and you will get access to it. Look at the presets over here. So we'll just figure out the one that works better for our image. Beautiful. So I'm going to be sticking with this, except for the fact that I'm losing a lot of details in the dress. So I'm just going to bring it out a little, increase my shadows a little, and give it some kick of vibrance just to make the colors pop. And we are good to go. So let me show you the overall before and after. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So if you're interested in getting any of the assets we use, you already know what to do. Comment interested in the comment section and you will get access to them. Thank you so much for watching. Apply this in your own wedding images and tell me what you think about it. See you and make sure that you follow us for more.